Hello everyone, Steve here with a quick update to several of my older clock designs. I've made some improvements that should make these clocks a bit more efficient. The, the first change is a solid connection between the pallet and the, the pendulum arm on three of my older clock designs, starting with my original design. I call this one SP1, SP2, and then the medium size SP3. They all have extended arms on the pallet, which connect using some set screws to the pendulum support. If you're retrofitting this design into an, an existing clock, there's no need to print a new pendulum support. You can just line up the parts, drill a hole, and then put in the set screw. If you're printing a, a new clock, then there's holes in the, the pendulum support for those set screws that are already there. The second improvement on this design is adjustable height standoffs so that the, the clock can be adjusted to fit against an uneven wall. The, the second set of changes works for the Easy Build Clock series in the, the large or the medium size. What this fix does is it adds a set screw on gear three right here and another set screw on the spacer. And so that, crea that creates a, a pocket for the escapement to sit in and the escapement cannot be pushed into the frame. Here's a, a close up of how that works. Here's gear two with the set screw and then the, the spacer with the set screw and then the escapement is free to spin with just a very small amount of movement uh, but there's no way for gear three to push into the escapement since gear two and the spacer are both locked onto the arbor. One slight complication now is when you assemble the gear three escapement arbor and place gear three into the clock, then it becomes more difficult to add gear two because now the escapement is in the way. So the easy way to assemble the clock is to add the lower arbor, add gear two, the spacer, and then I believe this one is gear five. It's a little wobbly when you assemble this clock in midair, but then when the lower gear stack has been added in, then the previously assembled gear three escapement assembly can be slid into position and just dropped into the hole. Add the, the final gear six. And then add the top frame and everything should go together. So I recommend doing the updated gear three for the easy build clocks. Even if you've already got a functional clock, it'll probably run a, a bit better if you isolate the escapement. Even, it's an even better edit than the helical gears that were previously added. I recommend the new pallet for any of your older clocks. It just gives a much more stable connection to the pendulum arm and the clock should run better with less weight. These edits have been added to the, the five existing designs on my mini factory. They, they're also added, they're also added into a new area where I, I created a, a new file that's a free download with just the updated parts. There's a, a short addendum that shows pictures of how to assemble each of the parts. And it should make any of these designs run a, li a little bit more reliably. So thanks for watching and check them out. If you already have one of these clocks, if you've already built one of these clocks, I recommend a simple retrofit. 
All the parts are at my mini factory. The links are down below, so you can find all the, the files and copies of the clocks. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.